We just finished a cool science experiment on lemon volcanoes, which is an awesome acid-base reaction. But that got us thinking. Why are lemons so sour? For that matter, why is anything sour? Huh. Let's find out! Welcome to Destructive Creativity. We exist for you, for science, and for fun. And lemons today. Lemons today. We're existing for lemons! Woo! <clears throat> okay, so the secret mm. ingredient is citric acid. And I can feel it like way back here. Before you can understand why you taste sour, first you have to have a better understanding of the pH scale. Let's define some terms. pH scale. This is important. So this is the pH scale back here that goes from 0 to 14, with 7 being neutral, anything above 7 being a base, anything below 7 being an acid. We're going to focus on 0 to 7 because those acids are the things that trigger the sour receptors in your mouth. So why does that trigger sour receptors? Well, an acid is defined as a substance that is willing to donate hydrogen ions, which means that there's more hydrogen ions than hydroxide ions. This means that the farther you get down to zero with an acid, which means the stronger the acid is, the more hydrogen ions are available to trigger your taste receptors in your mouth that tell your brain, look out, this is sour. And by the way, usually if you taste something in nature and it's sour, that's a bad thing. It usually tells you to stay away from it because if you were to say drink some clear liquid and it's really, really sour, it's probably like vinegar or something. You shouldn't be drinking vinegar. One quick fact, did you know that this scale is based off of a factor of 10, which means that starting at seven, working both ways, so six is 10 times more powerful than seven in respect to acids, and five is 10 times more powerful than six, and four is 10 times more powerful than five, etc., etc., all the way down to zero. The ingredient in lemons is citric acid. That's about a 1.2 on the pH scale, so that's pretty strong for an acid. Citric acid is the go-to acid for candy makers and uh, confectioneers of all stripes because it's safe to consume within reason. So remember, next time you eat something sour, just think about the fact that that sour substance is giving your tongue hydrogen ions, and that's triggering your brain to telling you that, that is sour. The more sour it is, the more hydrogen ions your tongue is given. So just for fun, let's head back to our original studio. We're going to put some highly concentrated citric acid powder onto a slice of lemon, which is just natural citric acid. And we're going to see how sour it actually is. <laughs> okay, let's put this to the test. We have a lemon here. I'm just going to cut this up. Spray it in my eyeball. Oh! <laughs> Work through the pain. <laughs> and we're gonna sprinkle some citric acid on the lemon. Oh, oh that's a no. lot. Mm. Damn, it looks like sugar, right? It, it should taste nice and sweet, right? Mm, let's try this. Wait, no, I'll put it down so it's on my tongue. Mmm. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Wow! Wow! <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. We have new stuff coming out every single week. Hope to see you then. Till next time! <laughs> Bye! With some top of candies, and then it gives it that nice, real sharp, sour thing, which is great. Let's put practice. Practice. <laughs> what?